Hey there, Gundam fans. This is uh, another entry into Faceboy 89's custom Gundam contest. Uh, slash miniatures. And this is my Nuclear Strike Ball. This is part of the Black Death Forces in Gundam Father of Peace. That will probably show up in episode 10. God knows when we'll you know, actually get to episode 10, you know, but, um, these were a contingency plan under Commander Jamitov, who, uh, just wanted to break the treaty and nuke the hell out of Zeon, but Revel wouldn't let it fly, but once Revel's killed off, then Jamitov can do nearly what he wants, and so he launches these out, and... It's a very interesting thing, the nuclear strike ball, because it has your standard nuclear, you know, bazooka up on top. And uh, launches one nuke, just one. And outside of that nuke, it has no defenses except for these little arms. And truth is, the shielding armor on the ball is not strong enough to withstand a nuclear blast. Remember, GPO2 had tons of uh, shielding, not just, you know, to guard it from the nuclear blast, but the radiation and everything else. And uh, the balls, unbeknownst to the ball pilots, it, it's suicide. It's suicide. You, you cannot get far enough from the blast radius of the nuclear strike ball in order to live. There's just no way, and you really have no defense, which you should check out my other entry to see what is there to protect the nuclear strike ball of the Black Death forces. And, uh, just to do a short review, you know, cannon goes all the way around, it goes up, it goes down, and uh, standard ball arms, that's about it. Anyways, hope you liked it, and uh, check out what defends them in my next video.